There we go. How's it going, guys? It's Stevie P. Sorry if you haven't seen me for a while. I, uh... Why's my glasses all funky? There we go. There we go. Hiding from me. Um, come on, camera. Behave. Come on. There we go. Oh, this stupid Microsoft High Def Cam, it, it, like, it's too smart and it tries to focus. So I was just looking at Moog 100's, um, uh, what's it called? Great 8 Tag. It's, it's experience. So um, I'll put a link to it below here. Uh, question one, what is one thing that all of your significant others have said about you that annoys them, past and present? Oh, I'm awesome, so nothing, no. Um, focus. <laughs> but you guys never knew that. Yeah, I hope this is in sync. I normally use a camera, but it's in the car, and I'm a little too lazy to go and actually get it. This computer's got a stupid virus, so I'm using this camera, and hopefully the audio and video are in sync, but it doesn't look like it. It's very annoying. And everything's backwards. The whole room's backwards. Yeah, focus uh, might be one of those things. I, I know it's been frustrating for a lot of people in my life. Um, significant others. I, I've been with Denise since I was 19. I'm 33. So we've been together a long time. Um, there's a lot of things that probably annoy her about me, but um, she can't afford to leave, so um, I don't know. I It's probably the focus thing. Um, I know it annoys me, not being able to focus all the time, um, but that randomness is, is what makes up a lot of me too. So, uh, Name something you have eaten will never eat again. I've eaten everything. <laughs> No, I, uh, you know what, there's there's very little I don't, can't eat, or won't eat, or don't like. Um, I'm, I'm a genuine non-picky person. Uh, if it is food or could be eaten, I, I don't really have a problem trying it. Um, that's bad. That's why I'm fat. I, I don't know if there's actually anything that grosses me out that much um, but I will get back to you if you have a gross food that you want me to try you let me know and uh, I'll, I'll try it probably tell us about a self-inflicted incident I shot myself in the finger uh, when I was like 16 or 17 I was at my friend's place and we had one of those like air rifles that you pump up. Um, no, it's not one here. Uh, you pump it up, and I was gonna shoot the air, and he's like, "Hey, dude, there's that's loaded." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I know. I just pumped it." And and he meant there's actually a BB in there. And I thought he meant it was just full of air, so don't play with it. So I shot my finger like like put my finger on the end of the barrel to see if it was an air or spring that shot anything out. If it was air, it would have pushed my finger off. And it pushed my finger off and then there was a lot of blood. And he's like, no, you're bleeding on the carpet. On his mom's carpet. So, yeah. And then we had to dig it out with like a razor blade and um, a needle. And it's... I don't know. Yeah. There you go, you can see the little scar there. Um, did you used to fight in school? If yes, tell us about one of the fights. There we go. Um, I did. I, I, I never started a fight. Um, my dad knew we were going to be going to England, which is where he grew up, and it, it's a little rougher than where I live here in Canada. Don't get me wrong, you can end up in a fight with an idiot anywhere you go. We just happened to go into a place where there was a much higher probability. So I was a boxer. Um, I, I wanted to box. I enjoyed boxing. It was good. But I knew I, I was never allowed to use it out of the ring. And I put up with this guy, Mike, in my class for like three years. Just it, it just always push and push and push and push and push. And I just lost it one day. I'm like, if you keep calling me a chicken, a chicken. Who's calling me a chicken? 
So I'm like, if you keep doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. And he, he wanted me to go down into the town and skip class. But there was only ten of us in the class. It's not like you can skip class and not get caught, you know. And it was at, right at the end. And I was a boxer, right? So I knew how to punch and and how to hit people and and not hurt me. And I lost it. I could just feel that rage as it went up. And I, Rah! and I hit him right on the cheekbone with these two fingers. Just shattered everything in here. That was horrible. Teacher saw. Everyone saw. Never got in trouble for it, but it, it was horrible. It was horrible. I hated fighting. I was good at it, but I hated it. But I always kept control. And um, this time I, I didn't and destroyed my hand. It was horrible. I had to write all my final exams with a busted hand because I never went to the doctor to get it fixed. Um, something that gives you peace of mind. <laughs> this is going to sound cheesy. Um, but peace of mind for the protection of my family, life insurance. I pay life insurance in case something happens. It takes a lot of stress off, off your plate to look after your family. Um, heaven forbid anything happens. You know, in a worldly way, that is one of those things that it's just it's made my life a lot easier. Just knowing that everyone's taken care of if I die. Um, and as well as that, you know, you know, if I need to just go to a place where I need to get my head right, um, church. And church is never going to fix your problems. It's it's a matter of the heart and what you do at church. If you go to church and you're all hard and you're like, nothing can fix me, then nothing's going to fix you. But if you go there and you're like, oh, God, I just, I need help, right? Open yourself and, and let, let stuff get fixed. And it does. And and there's always that it's a comfort comfort place, and it it can go and you can be healed and it's good. I love that. What is a lie you told in the past to keep you out of trouble with your parents? Um, yes, I did my homework. Yeah, we don't need to go anywhere after that. Um, what would be the worst way you could break up? Someone could break up with you. I don't know. <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> if I came home and you know went online and Denise's Facebook status was so I'm with your brother now or something like that that would be really bad that would that would be really bad my brother's in England and and his wife would kick her butt so I don't think I have to worry about that what is your favorite thing to cook if you can't cook what do you love to have cooked for you you know I love Steak. I really, really, really love steak. A good steak. I, I don't mind paying a lot of money for it. A good chunk of meat. If you're a vegetarian and you're feeling really bad about this right now, all I have to say to you is that sucks. Could you send me your meat? Um, if you can't cook, what do you love to have cooked for you? Yeah, just definitely the steaks. Um, I can never make them quite as good as, as a barbecue place can or a, a good steakhouse, you know, with garlic mashed potatoes, um, escargot, you know, like rich people food. I really like that stuff and I'm not. So we can only do that once in a while. But there you go. Um, if you guys watch this and, and want to uh, want to do a video response to it, definitely um, do that. And uh, again. Name something you have eaten and will never eat again. I really, I don't know. I need, I need to find some stuff. I'm not really keen on liver. Um, but yeah, you guys send me some really good ideas. All right, awesome. I'm Stevie P. Thank you for watching the channel, and um, check out Mo on on uh, the link below, down down where the udders are. Also, um, I moved a baby bear off the road. It's on the Stevie P Outdoor Life channel. There'll be a link below there. Yeah, I have some other channels, guys, so uh, feel free to go and watch them. There's, um, it was dead. Like, it, it, it's not gross. It's a little sad. And it was young. I thought it was actually a wolverine, but that's on there. And the other day when I was out filming with my new camera, I seen a carp. Um, 
like you know a fish about this long it was harassing a duck it kept trying to eat this duck it was the funniest thing I didn't know what was going on at first this duck just kept going in circles and uh, and there was a carp trying to eat it but of course the carp's mouth is only you know yay big and uh, the fit the duck just kept like swimming away it was awesome but uh, check it out on the CVP outdoor life and uh, thanks for watching bye bye how do I turn off this thing